All right. On today's episode of Let's Make Some Noisy Crap Quieter, this is a Oztec Scorpion Yanmar clone. Scorpion means nothing. The Oztec means nothing. They're just how they were sold in Australia. This is a 5 kVA electric and pull start air cooled diesel. The number to remember is the 186F or 10 horsepower Yanmar clone. So these things are a rock solid little motor. It is single cylinder, high compression, pull or electric start. 10 horsepower, 3000 RPM. Now coupled directly to a generator. Like so. This one's had a horrible life uh, since I've owned it. And uh, that's not gonna, not gonna ever get any better. So basically, this is a generator that I use to charge batteries and run things for um, for kind of a off-grid power setup that I have here. So what we're gonna do today, I've got this muffler, terrible little stainless steel elbow. I'm gonna put it on the end of this muffler and see if we can quieten this thing down because its exhaust noise is insane. They have this real cracky, poppy kind of exhaust noise. And standard, that is actually covering the corner of the exhaust. So it gets this disgusting, like whipping, cracking kind of exhaust noise, which is just like unbearable to listen to. Um, they're actually that loud. So what we're gonna do, get this bracket on the side of this muffler. This has been on a few different things, but it was on the back of a Peugeot 307 originally. I'm going to elbow there, weld the bracket of that up to there to hold it up and uh, see if it makes it drastically quieter and put the back cover back on the generator, pop a battery in it, remount our little voltage rig. We still don't have a rectifier for that because I stole the rectifier out of the board so the battery doesn't charge still. But the only thing you need it for is starting it and you get a lot of starts out of the battery you just give it a whiz over until you see a little bit of white haze out the exhaust and you know you've got an injector and then you drop the uh, decomp so let's start putting stuff together we'll get this all tacked up and show you what i mean oh first thing we've got to do is we've got to fix the welder in true me fashion i didn't fix the welder when i was using it last time we need to uh Put that back on. I know Torx aren't Allen keys, but Torx fit beautiful in Allen keys. So we're just going to undo that and put it back on the end of that cable. Right, we'll do that and do some tacking. So, world is back going. We've got a couple of tacks just for fitment. So whilst this seems like a strange idea, it's actually going to work as a little bit of torsional like movement support. It'll actually allow this to shake kind of with the engine and stuff. Because the engine's obviously all rubber mounted. This will this will have movement out between the two. And then we're just gonna try and seal up. Obviously that's where a big pipe was welded on the outside another time. On the Lister generator, you might remember this little one going up vertical. I had a truck muffler on it originally, but it was too big and droney. So we put a smaller muffler. This should hopefully get rid of the cracking noise, because uh, it's a wild whip crack of a noise when the uh, little little single cylinder fires. The problem with single cylinders is they've got no like smooth pulse in the exhaust, so you get like just one big crack. You know what I get this welded up, see how much of a dog's breakfast I can make it. Then uh, I guess we'll see what it sounds like. But yeah, just kind of using crap that we've got. None of it's real great, but um, it's also only burning vegetable oil to charge batteries. So like, use the stuff you've got until it's dead. There's no point throwing any of it in the bin. We will have to service this at some point because I haven't done that since I've owned it. It's got, I think it's got oil in it. Too much oil in it. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to address that. Too much oil is a problem. 
I wonder what they do for like crankcase ventilation, whether there is any. That'll be actually uh, slowing the poor girl down. If the crank's slapping in the oil, because it should have. Oh, it might only be slap. I don't think it's got an oil pump. Anyway, we'll look up this motor. It's a 186F. We'll see if we, we'll see if we can find out some more info about it. Let's get this tacked up and see what it sounds like. Alright, it's not pretty. It's on there. Quick run, we'll be able to see where it leaks from. Yeah, I really need a welding helmet. If you can recommend a good welding helmet, that'd be sick. Anyone out there that's uh, doing a bit. So, let's give it a run. Got the NOCO boost on it, just on the power leads down there. That should be enough to get her going. Set fuel to on. Open the decompression valve and turn the key. new fuel pipe I need to swap out as well probably do that another day but uh, they're like $16 on eBay or wherever you get your stuff mm, super cheap so what we just did there was adjust the Hertz as you see they were high 55 is too high uh, there was also no load on the machine but 55 is too high some of your switch mode stuff doesn't care but it does burn out electric motors so when you've got it in that position there, once it's going, it's going to sit back out there, and then that's the that's the thing that governs itself. It gives you your up and down in up and down in voltage um, throttle, so you get more more or less hertz. Yeah, it's definitely an issue. Being 3,000 RPM, it's going to be, always be noisy. Um, we'll give it a bit of a clean up now and uh, drain some oil out. address that. I've got the vacuum extractor just here, we'll do that now. Right, I can make a whole other video on this thing. It's an awesome bit of kit. It's a vacuum extractor. Yeah, when it comes to doing an oil change or something like that, I'll slip the suction hose in, turn the air line on. Just like that, you can drain all the oil out, which there is way too much of. Remember to get the top of that stick not hanging out the top. Nice warm oil comes out of there like a rocket. The funny part is, you know we're going to recycle that oil and use it in the engine again and run the engine with it, so it's just 
Oh my, can't miss one. Not super fast flow rate rate wise, but there's nothing more handy. Just so simple to use. Uses hardly any air to do it too. Not even sure how it's so efficient. Do that, get a little funnel and we'll fill him back up. Some fresh stuff. See if we can keep it going. Just like that. So yeah, we've got one little bit of world to fix up on the bottom side of that elbow. I'll we'll put that tip on facing away from the back of the generator the radiant heat from that will keep the tank warm which is great for vegetable oil which is what's in it at the moment I now have about 1600 litres of vegetable oil and the total I spent was about $85 to get it all so if you know much about generators that's a lot of kilowatt hours I'm going to pack this up I'm going to go to work catch us on the next video and uh, yeah, we've successfully made it a bit quieter. We will do something with the intake, so there will be a part two. I'm going to try and make the intake a bit quieter because that's the new noise that you can hear predominantly. Yeah, catch you on the next vid.